Okay, my name is uh, Cynthia Wesley Eskimon. I'm from the Chippewa Georgina Island First Nation in Lake Simcoe, which is just north of Toronto. I now live in Thunder Bay. I'm the Vice Provost of Aboriginal Initiatives in, in Thunder Bay and Aurelia. And my relationship to the TRC is, uh, is reconciliation and also I was uh, inducted as an honorary witness yesterday. Survivor intergenerational effect. My, my mother went to residential school at Chingwalk for eight years and my stepfather went for 14, uh, 12 years because he went when he was four years old. So he went pretty young and so in our household, like a lot of households during that era of, of young people coming out of residential schools, it was pretty... It was a pretty tense time. There's a lot of drinking and you know carrying on. I think a lot of people reacting. Really, no, I don't think they really understood the implications of their experience. I don't think they really understood that, that they had been fundamentally damaged because it was the only experience that many of them had ever had. So how could you say, well, if I had done this or lived like this, you know, my life would be like that. They, they had no frame of reference other than the, uh, than the, the poor treatment that they received in those schools. Your perspective is, is the role of the church going forward as one of the one of the key players in this. I think you know, you know the uh, I mean a genuine heartfelt apology for you know the church's role in this is is I think very important an acknowledgement that it happened that uh, that it, you know not trying to say well it wasn't that bad you know people have I mean, you've heard people say that well it wasn't that bad well you don't know were you there you know it was it was pretty bad so I think an acknowledgement and then I think one of the things that the church can do is is uh, you know which is near and dear to my heart is work with your young people it's your young people that really need to be well educated on these on these issues. You know, the older people are, are, are coming to the table and saying, you know, we want to understand, we want to be able to provide some support and some assistance here. Uh, you know, I don't know how much resource is available, but you're all personally resources. You're all personally role models to the young people in your church. And when I say young, it could be anywhere from, you know, 6 to 60, really, given, you know, how people live their lives. But just, you know, be there for that conversation. You know, I'm meeting with the United Church, talking about the doctrine of discovery and, 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 and trying to push that off the table because they realize now that, that this was not empty land, that they did not have a right to do the kinds of damages that were done here for, for the people that lived here. I think the churches, the government, you know, we want the, you know, the public to understand that there's a reason that First Nation citizens are the place that they are. Not that all of us are there. I think, you know, the second generation, third generation, fourth generation are going to be that. Their, their normal is going to be like a normal, you know, in the context of a healthy family, a, a good career, you know, a house to live in, you know, that kind, of, that kind of normal. That's not something that we're necessarily all experiencing right now. So there's a lot of work, particularly in the north. Thank you very much. Thank you.